Now that I know that little Ethan is a donor match for Jonathan, I have to find a way for little Ethan to donate part of his liver. How are you going to do that without the truth coming out, Teresa? I don't know, Mama. But there's got to be a way to save us all. I just haven't figured it out yet, but I will. I, I really don't see how. We've been wrecking our brains and we haven't come up with anything. We're not going to give up. I'm not going to let Jonathan die knowing that I have the chance to save him. And if you were in my shoes, I know you would do the same thing. Ethan, Jonathan is not going to die. God wouldn't make us bury two of our children. He just wouldn't do that. Gwen, listen to me, listen to me. I have faith in God, I do. He's helped our families and our loved ones so many times. But he sometimes works his miracles through other people, and I don't think there's a miracle in store for us because there is no compatible donor for Jonathan out there. And if he doesn't get that transplant, he is going to die. That is where you are wrong. Ethan, Jonathan doesn't need a part of someone else's liver to survive. There are so many alternative treatments out there. I've been doing all this research on the Gwen, internet. Gwen, those other alternative treatments may have helped earlier, but there's no time now. There's no time. Dr. Walker and Dr. Jonas both agree if he doesn't get a transplant, he's not going to make it. He needs a compatible donor, so I suggest you think of somebody very quickly, or we may end up burying our son next door. I know you, Mama. I know if you were in my position, you would find a way to use little Ethan as Jonathan's donor. I'd want to, but... You would keep quiet? You would let an innocent baby die to protect our family? I said I would. I don't believe you. All right, Teresa. All right. God help me, but... I would do exactly the same thing you're trying to do. I would try to save Jonathan's life. Of course you would. You just do me a favor, please, Teresa. If you decide to pursue this, just... You can't let Gwen and Rebecca know anything about it. Because if they do, then they won't hesitate to call my enemies in Mexico. And once they know where I am, the entire Lopez Fitzgerald family just cease to exist. <laughs>